Jim Costello, Jim's Trans Zone. And we're still sitting inside this 2019 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sport, highly customized. And I want to talk about a little bit of a few things. So what is highly customized? Well, highly customized can be a lot of different things, especially to Wranglers. It can be lights, it can be uh, oh, winches, it can be uh, a lift kit on it. Uh, you know, it can be, obviously, interiors. And we've customized this interior. So what, it, what do you need to look for? Well, first off, the big thing is warranty. If the parts are, are marked as Mopar, you never have to worry about going to any Chrysler Jeep dealer throughout the entire nation. And so if the parts have a Mopar symbol on them, especially with your lift kits, you've got no problem. If, on the other hand, you've chosen another vendor to provide you with lift kits, then you have to go to a supplier from that company. Now, here's the problem. If you run into an issue, it can be a finger-pointing thing. I'm not saying it will be. I'm just saying it can be. Well, the we had a, we had a failure, a stress failure, uh, in the steering and it was due to the angle of the lift kit or it was due to the geometry changing the geometry of how the the wheels sit on the pavement so you need to be especially careful of that now, I'm not saying you're always going to have a problem because you may never I, I know many men or, and, and women that have had lift kits put on their Jeeps and have not had a problem but if you have one it's nice to know that you don't have to worry about it because if it has a Mopar symbol on it, it's covered anywhere. That is a huge deal and something that, from my standpoint, gives me peace of mind. So just a little advice in terms of customizing your vehicle. Also, the, with the lights, you want to make sure a lot of these, these wiring harnesses are set up so that they're not designed to be spliced into, especially in a Wrangler. Because in a Wrangler, it's designed that you can actually have this vehicle sitting in the rain. You get caught with the top off. You can have it sitting in the rain for a period of time. You go in and watch a movie. You come out two hours later, and it's a mess inside. If you've cut into these wires, the problem you can you can run into is all the wires are set up to send a certain signal or to send a certain surge of signals, and it's not designed to accept more or less. That has an impact on the software that's in the vehicle. So it's very important to make sure that any customization that you do is done properly and done by a certified technician. Uh, if you don't do it, that's fine. If, it, if you have no problems, that's great. But if you run into a problem, you could run into a costly repair that will take money out of your pocket. We don't like that. These vehicles are so expensive. Once you have decided to customize your vehicle, once you've spent that money to buy that new vehicle, we don't want unnecessary funds coming out of your wallet. It's our desire here at Sam Lehman in Morton that you are taken care of in a manner in which you expect. We don't like surprises, and heaven knows you don't like surprises, especially when you're talking about hundreds or even thousands of dollars. So just a little advice from a standpoint of customizing Wranglers. And again, thanks for tuning in to Jim's Trans Zone. You can reach me anytime at... 309-208-8268. And you have a great day.